I sure hope Sister Barbara... Sister Bar... Hmm. Perhaps you? Well, not to mention... All right. You could start by looking... For to worry. There hasn't been any sign of danger. I'm just here to gather some red wolf hook berries, that's all. But the strange thing is, there should be lots of wolf hooks here, and I can't seem to find any. Hmm. Well, anyway, no need to worry about me. I'll just have another look around here, and if I can't find any, I'll just... Miss Barbara? Huh? She's not here either. Huh? Somebody seems to be coming this way. Oh, I'm sorry, but please just keep quiet, okay? Don't let them find us. Because... Well, just because. Oh, all right. I'll just leave it to you then. Please just... Just don't tell them that I'm here, all right? The voice seemed to be coming from over there! Let's go take a closer look. Oh, Paimon remembers him! Isn't that Albert? What is he doing here? Barbara-sama, uh, are you here? Uh, who, me? Uh, well, I'm looking for Barbara-sama. I was originally planning to give her some herbs at the cathedral, but Sister Victoria told me she had gone out to attend to some matters. When I sought Barbara Sama for healing recently, she mentioned to me that the church was running low on certain medicine ingredients. I seem to remember the ingredient she mentioned, some type of red wolf hook berry. I figured she was most likely somewhere out here picking wolf hooks, so I thought I'd come and lend her a hand. Besides, as leader of the Barba fan club, how could I ever let Barbara Sama go wandering alone in such a dangerous place? So I decided to come to Wolvendom looking for Barbara Sama and picking red wolf hooks along the way. That's right, and I'll take them back to the church shortly. After all, I am the leader of the Barba fan club. It's my duty to make sure Barbara Sama's life's easier. Huh? But uh, judging from your expression, You've never heard of the Barbara Fan Club. I... Uh, anyways, the Barbara Fan Club will have to wait for the moment. I'll fill you in on how great it is when I have time later. I must keep searching for Barbara Sama for now. <sighs> I don't really even know if Barbara Sama's anywhere around here. <sighs> you might be right. I should go back and gather more people to help with the search. Since Barbara-sama came here to pick those red wolf hooks, we could just follow the trail of those specific berries to lead us right to her. Ah, huh, you're right. I should probably try searching some other areas. Uh, by the way, you didn't happen to see any sign of Barbara-sama when you arrived, did you? Uh, perhaps I was hearing things. Ah. Uh. You might be right. I haven't heard any sign of her since. 
Unless she's intentionally trying to avoid me. But she'd never have any reason to do that. Right. Hmm. Well, it seems that Barbara-sama may have already left the area. <sighs> All right, then. Barbara-sama must be somewhere else. Oh, but I still feel a bit worried. I'll go report the matter to Huffman and then have another look around the church. Here, you can have these red wolf hooks I picked earlier. There's no way I'd be able to carry them all back to the city. I'll take what I can to the church after I get back. <sighs> I just hope that Barbara-sama did indeed go back to the city. polite towards him. Well, it's a little embarrassing to say, but in Mondstadt, I often perform songs for people. Because it's been so well received, the other sisters have started encouraging me to perform across Tivat. Now more and more people are showing up to hear me perform. I'm happy to see such turnouts, don't get me wrong. But now people always stop me on the street when I go shopping or... When I go out for personal matters, I know that all they want is to get my autograph or to ask me how I'm doing, which isn't a bad thing. And I'm very thankful for all my fans, but oh, there are simply too many of them. I always do my best to fulfill their requests and not let them down. But sometimes I feel that I just don't have the strength to do so. Even when I'm in the church, people will still come hoping to greet me. I'm constantly in a state of tension no matter where I go. The reason I came here was not only to find wolf hooks for making Tunner's cough medicine, but also to have some quiet time alone. Do you understand that feeling? To sit peacefully and not think about anything? Just by yourself? It's simply the feeling of relaxation. It's been far too long since I've had that feeling. Before I knew it, I was out here all day and forgot to return to the city. No, I couldn't find any. All the kind I'm looking for are red. I remember seeing them here before, but I've already searched the area and there aren't any. I wonder if someone had already picked them. No, people seldom come out here. Huh? Yes, those are the ones! And you found so many, these will be more than enough. But where did you... Oh my. Well, I've been far too impolite. Albert came all this way just to help me and I... But if I were to go and apologize to him, it would probably only make him feel even worse. Oh, I guess I'm still just too immature. Let's just head back to the city for now. I'll think of a way to make it up to Albert later. Well, I know. And you also know. And we mustn't forget that Barbados also knows. We certainly can't say that no one knows about this matter. Don't you think? And besides, as a deaconess, I could never simply ignore such a matter. I must take the appropriate actions and make things right. I'll see to that matter on my own. Anyway, the berries you have here will be just enough. We should get going. Finally made it out of there. 
The Wolvendom Forest is a nice getaway to be alone for a while, but there's not much sunlight. If you stay in there for too long, you can't help but start feeling a little gloomy. A little sunlight always helps keep your spirits up. Ah, yes. Now that we're here, I'd like to go to Don Winery and check on Tunner's condition. I've told him before that he should take it easy and rest for a while, but he never seems to listen. He even told me not to let Guy know anything about it. I'd like to check on him before going back and deciding which medicine I'll need to make. Um, would it be possible to, you know, ask for your help again? If you could go back and report to Sister Victoria while I check on Tunner, oh, that would be a big help. She's most certainly worried about me after being away so long. And besides, there's a lot of matters I still need to take care of back at the cathedral. It would be better if I let her know the situation. Oh, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. again. If you're looking for Sister Barbara, she's yet to return. Oh, I see. <sighs> Thank Barbados that she's all right. But it sounds like she won't be back anytime soon. Hmm. Oh, well, that's most kind of you. I certainly wouldn't want to trouble you. Hmm. Let me think for a moment. Ah, yes, you could help tidy up around the cathedral a bit. People tend to bring dust in as they come into the cathedral, so the floor is often quite dirty. Cleaning and the like have always been Sister Barbara's responsibility. So the moment she's gone, everything starts getting dirty. Yes, that's right. She always said that she could handle it herself and that there's no need to ask anyone else to help her. But she does often appear quite exhausted after she's finished with the cleaning. To be honest, I'm most surprised that you are willing to help. Or, rather, that Barbara is willing to let you help. However, this would help to lighten her burden. Anyway, I'll let you handle the cleaning for now, Honorary Knight. Victoria told me you already helped tidy up the cathedral. Thank you so much! I just returned a short while ago. I can't thank you enough for how much you've helped me today, both here in the cathedral and back in Wolvendom. You must be thirsty after so much work, no? How about I treat you to a drink? Oh, I've just remembered that the cat's tail is promoting a special drink recently. Miss Margaret said that the name of the drink is Fantastic Summer Serendipity Coral Sparkling Tea. <laughs> she also mentioned that it's her secret weapon to beating Angel's share in drink sales. Word is that the drink's pretty good, but there's always a line to get it. We'll probably have to wait if we want some. If you'd rather not stand in line, I could make you a glass of my very own chili brew. Which would you like to drink? Yeah, it does sound amazing. I'm not sure how Margaret came up with such a name, but I have heard that the drink is quite popular now. There's even a line of people waiting to purchase it every day. If you'd like to get one, we should head over to the cat's tail as quickly as we can. However, even though I've already requested a half day of leave from Sister Victoria, she still insists that I let her know where I'm going. 
With so many people trying to get in on the newest Cat's Tale offering, I'm worried we'll have to wait for ages if we get there too late. Oh, I've got it! Why don't you help me check in with Sister Victoria while I get in line at the Cat's Tale? That would save us some time. What do you think? It's settled then. Let's meet up at the entrance to the Cat's Tale. It... Uh, it'll be fine. I'll just... Tell them that today is my day off. I'm sure they'll understand. Let's get going then. See you at the cat's tail. Yes, my child? Oh yes, Sister Barbara just submitted her request for half a day's leave. She said she had plans with a friend. I must say though, it is quite unusual for Barbara to request time off just to see a friend. But that's beside the point. What is it you'd like to ask me? Oh? You mean to tell me that Barbara intends to accompany you to buy this... special drink? Then you must be the friend that she mentioned, I presume. Hmm. Seeing as you're the honorary knight, I guess that's fine. Well then, please take good care of Sister Barbara. Well, as you may already know, Sister Barbara is quite popular in Mondstadt for several reasons. Although the citizens here may only be acting out of good intention, there are too many of them, and Sister Barbara can't handle it all. If they appear while she is working here at the church, we can come and intervene. But if she's approached by fans during her time off, then she can only fend for herself. And not to mention, she's too kind. She'll always try to fulfill the requests of the citizens of Mondstadt, even when it takes a heavy toll and leaves her more exhausted than actual working hours. So with that in mind, we thought we'd have Sister Barbara always tell us where she'd be, just in case we need to come rescue her from the crowds. My hope is that Sister Barbara stops pushing herself so hard. I never expected I would have a chance to meet you here today. Are you here attending to matters for the church? Uh, I, I guess you could say that. Uh, Barbara-sama, may I get your autograph? I, uh, my daughter Ellen is a big fan of yours. Uh, oh, is that so? Uh, all right, uh, just one moment. Oh gosh, Barbara-sama, I love your style. Please tell me how I can be more like you. Oh, oh uh, really? Well, I'm still learning and growing myself. I, I guess all I can say is, do your best every day. Oh, Barbara-sama! Uh, Barbara-sama! Barbara-sama! Oh, my! Take a look. There will definitely be something that catches your eye. Uh, Barbara Sama, can I get an autograph? Oh, Ellen would be so happy. She's your biggest fan. Uh, if she's on leave, then. An autograph won't be a problem, right? Uh, Barbara-sama, I... my daughter would love an autograph! Ellen really is your biggest fan! Huh? 
Oh, Barbara-sama, you're so hardworking. If I put in as much effort as you, who knows where my apprenticeship would take me? Barbara-sama? On leave? Oof. For a moment, I thought I was disturbing her work. Barbara-sama, can I get an autograph? Please, Barbara-sama, teach me your style. How can I be more like you? Oh, perfect. I've got so much to learn from Barbara-sama. She'd never have the time if she was working. Please, Barbara-sama, teach me your style. How can I be more like you? Please, there's no need to rush. One at a time. Oh, I'm sorry, can you wait a bit longer? I'm still on a break. Huh. Barbara-sama, there's still so much I want to learn from you. It would make me, uh, my daughter so happy, Barbara-sama. Barbara-sama, don't forget my autograph. Please, settle down. I... Oh, I think Monroe might want one too. And Mr. Wagner. Wait, he wouldn't want one, would he? Uh, let me ask him, though. Oh, a, a friend of mine was asking about autographs, Barbara-sama. Uh, make that, too. Oh, my... So sorry, please. Uh, hold on a moment. <sighs> sorry to keep you waiting so long. You look like you're about to fall asleep. I feel terrible. It was me who invited you for a drink, and here I am wasting your time. Here, it's the fantastic summer serendipity coral sparkling tea you wanted. I ordered this one especially for you. At least Miss Margaret didn't make our drinks in advance. The flavor would have changed completely by now. <laughs> How can I put this? Those relaxing moments of freedom in Wolvendom? The rush just now kind of ruined that for me. But as long as I can bring everybody a smile. Although, perhaps you can stay with me a while longer? Let's take a stroll outside the city and finish our drinks. We have to seize every bit of free time we get, even if it only lasts a moment. It's nice to finally relax for a while. Thanks for accompanying me. Come to think of it, this is the first time we've gone for a walk together. When I heard you'd received the title of Honorary Knight, I thought you'd turn out to be more of a solemn character. But now that I've met you, I can't quite believe it. I never thought... Oh, I hope I'm not offending you. What I mean is, for someone as young as you to achieve the title of Honorary Knight, it's amazing. Jean must really believe in you to grant you this title. I hope I can be as great as you one day, so I can help everybody around me too. But for now, all I can do is sing. <sighs> so sorry, always thinking about myself. Welcome to Mondstadt. Uh, we've walked a long way. Why don't we take a break up ahead? Peaceful here. Nobody's passing through except us. Let's rest for a while. Uh, that thing? Uh, it's a group of my Mondstadt supporters. But I'm usually in the cathedral. The knights and sisters stationed outside the church won't let them in. So they support me in other ways. Cleaning the cathedral. Helping their fellow citizens with difficult matters? Stuff like that. It's... very considerate. Though sometimes they get carried away. Uh, I'm not really sure. But of the ones I know, there's Mr. Albert and Mr. Huffman. Oh, do you know Mr. Huffman? He's a very strict knight, not to mention disciplined. He's never asked for my autograph or tried to make conversation. 
Every time he comes to the cathedral on official business, his face is a picture of seriousness. I'd never have known if I hadn't overheard Mr. Albert talking about it. When I found out, I had someone deliver my autograph to him. I hope he was happy with it. <sighs> Thank you. It's been a long time since I've had such a long conversation, and it's all me complaining. Oh, thanks for listening. The support of an honorary knight goes a long way. <sighs> so, we've still not finished our drinks. Let's finish them off while we're here. We can rest today, but it's back to the grindstone tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs>